this is our beloved Mr. Fluff. Say hello, Mr. Fluff. Yes, he is exactly as wrong as you think he is. Mr. Fluff is an 80-year-old cross fox. He would have been worn as a fashionable scarf, with a clip under his jaw holding onto his tail, and, ironically, he would have been considered incredibly elegant in his time, and more valuable than the more common red fox furs. Unfortunately, 80 years later, and he has been attacked by clothes moths, and they've really done a number on him. Due to how much the damage is deteriorating, and how much it will cost to get Mr. Fluff fixed professionally, it may well be curtains for Mr. Fluff. Ooh, curtains? No, we're not making curtains out of Mr. Fluff. Spoil sport. So when we discovered that Mr. Fluff had become, how shall we put it? A festering cesspit crawling with living things that have no place in a dead thing. Um, encumbered by outside investigations? We did what anyone our age would do. How do I fix a taxi Okay, indeed. How can I help? How do I repair... Okay, then. Moths ate my fox. How do I fix his fur? According to Butterfly Conservation, Caterpillar Food Plants. Yeah, so it's surprisingly hard to find reliable articles about what to do with maggot-filled dead animals that aren't supposed to be maggot-filled dead animals. But after some, well, frantic googling, we found out that he needs to go into the freezer long enough to interrupt the moth life cycle, which is about two weeks long. We needed to spray the whole house with moth killer, and we, most importantly, were terrible dead pet parents, and that we should have been spraying roughly every two to three months with prevention spray. We left him in the freezer for about three weeks, took him out, let him defrost, then we sprayed him with a prevention spray, then we left him out for a week to dry and see if anything hatched. And then we stuck him back in the freezer for another couple of weeks. Right. It was Mr. Fluff or the chips. What were we going to do? We ate a lot of chips. He ate a lot of chips. Once the two weeks had passed, we defrosted him again and... Here we are now, with a dead box, covered in eggs, on a Sunday afternoon. There's no instructions. There's no how to fix your dead fluff. There's nothing out there. I've tried Facebook groups, I've tried Reddit, I've tried Twitter, I've tried BB bulletin boards that look like they were built in the early 2000s. You can't get hold of anyone. Um, the most that I managed to find out was that a lot of people recommend using silicone. And in particular, this sort of stuff, like the stuff you put around your bath. So, and in your hair. And in your hair, <laughs> if, if local trend, uh, current trends are anything to go by. Um, so that's what we've got. And I think the first thing that we need to do more than anything else is to clean up and take all those eggs out and generally get the patches exposed so that we can then attempt to stick him back together like some kind of crazy Frankenstein fox. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna start by, yeah, picking gross bits of fluff off of Mr. Fluff and just gently, I'm not pulling, I'm just seeing what comes away when I gently sort of brush upwards on the fur.
one eternity later. <laughs> regretting any life choices yet? I'm regretting all of my life choices right now. We could do this later, but he's already been deferred. Oh, no. Ah. No, just... It's bad enough that this is what I'm spending my Sunday afternoon doing and you're there making jokes. Bad jokes! Puns, dear. Puns. Oh. That bit that looks like kind of sawdust. Yeah, that's eggs. And they're dead. Luckily. But um, that all needs to come out. So I'm going to get a paintbrush and I'm just going to brush that away and off and onto the table. I feel I should be wearing a mask. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, mostly just so people don't know who I am. Oh god. <laughs> Right, patch one. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've got to be honest here. I am so far out of my depth. I, <laughs> I, I have no idea what I'm doing. I, I, I have no idea if this is going to work. I, I'm standing back and watching just for comedy value. Yeah, I think, I think this may well be a pure comedy video because I cannot see how I can translate this <laughs> in any form to there. But, you know, we'll see. Do you want gloves or anything? I... I think we just go for it. I mean... Yeah. It... <laughs> Red it can't standing by. be any worse. Let's put it that way. <laughs> <sighs> oh, God. Right. Slowly, slowly going up. Squidge. Right. And now we pick a tuft, any tuft. <laughs> and I'm just going to try and get it to lie in the same sort of... So, we've got to get all of that... All that... ...back on there. Back on, I mean, he's well named as Mr. Fluff because <laughs> who knew there was quite so much fluff in him? Who uh, would have known the old man had so much fluff in him? <sighs> to bed, to bed. So I guess we should probably explain how we came to own a 80 year old fox fur because it's uh, not, not your normal run of the mill. Junk. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, we, we're not taxidermy collectors, clearly, otherwise this wouldn't be an issue in the first place. No, we um, help out at a community theatre. One day I wandered in and they were all looking terribly concerned because somebody had, had gifted them a fox fur and ethically and in the spirit of community and so as not to offend or disturb anybody they couldn't really use it but they didn't want to throw it out so of course me me i'll take him i'll take him i'll take him the first that i knew of this was when he came back from rehearsal he comes in with this orange things for his carrier bag and he goes oh, i've got a present for you and that's the moment where i started getting suspicious and from out of the carrier bag comes this little furry face and it's so cute and I'm like oh he's adorable and he explains you know yes he's ours now 
And then his jaw moves. Ha ha. Or should ha, I say ha, the ha. horrible plastic clip that functions as his jaw? And I I started getting flashbacks to that episode of Round the Twist. You know, the weird kind of lighthouse family uh, children's TV show? children's TV. Ugh. Yeah, leave them to dry and then we'll take a look at how we've done and look at next steps. Um, and yeah, I mean, probably get hold of a lint roller because... Uh. <laughs> yes. I am, I am covered. I'm literally covered in fluff. And there he is, all his slightly better conditioned glory. No longer quite so threadbare. He's still a bit fluffy in places. But he's no longer what I'd call limping and injured. He is. He's been rescued for another few years. Well, was it? Can we really call that a success? I'm not sure anything about Mr. Fluff is a success, to be honest with you. But he may last another couple of years yet. Yes. Isn't he adorable? So cute. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Hope you enjoyed this project. And if you do, leave us a comment. Let us know what you'd like to see. We do do quite a few different DIYs here and there. It's not always dead things. In fact, <laughs> usually it's not dead things. <laughs> it will not be any more dead, no things, more dead things for a while. <laughs> This was quite enough. <laughs> yes. So, thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, like and subscribe, hit that little bell button, and we'll see you at the next one. Bye. I'm feeling so much better now. Oh, God, he's so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think we're going to get thrown off YouTube before we even start.